Hey, hey, 9.5, second to last section of chapter 9, all about triangles, right triangles specifically. Um, I like this lesson today because we're talking about shortcuts. Who doesn't like a good shortcut, right? So there are some triangles, some special triangles, not just any right triangle, but some special right triangles that if you encounter these types of triangles, which are pretty common, um, you can figure out the side lengths. You can solve the triangle much more quickly than using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's check this out. Uh, this first example is about a baseball diamond. I don't know how many of you like baseball, but let's say there's the baseball field. All right. So the baseball diamond is actually a square, and each length is 60 feet. So if you're at home plate, and you throw the ball to, 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 to second base, how far did you throw it? Well, you know, if you want to use the Pythagorean theorem and do, because this is a right angle, so we're figuring out the hypotenuse here, right? You could do 60 squared times 60, or plus 60 squared, gives you your hypotenuse and uh, squared, and then you would just square root it, right? But, let me turn down this brightness here. There we go. But this is a special type of right triangle because this is a square. Make it a little more obvious here. So this is a 90 degree angle. And what is the degree measurement of both of these two little ones here? In a square, oh, right here. In a square, wouldn't those both be 45? Just half of 90? 45 and 45? Yeah. So. The first special right triangle is a 45-45-90 triangle. We just call it a 45-45-90. Now, what's so special about this? Well, I'll tell you. If you know the side length, okay, one of the legs, then obviously you know what the other leg is. Notice this. In a 45-45-90, it is isosceles. The legs are both the same. So if I know this one here is 60 feet, I know that that one's 60 feet. Okay, so that's one thing. But the hypotenuse is always going to be one of those legs, or x in this case, times the square root of 2. So let's try that out. So I've got my calculator here. So I know one of my legs is 60, and using this formula, I know the hypotenuse it's just going to be 60 times the square root of 2, 84.8528. Now, if I wanted to do the Pythagorean theorem, just go 60 squared plus 60 squared, and then do the square root of that, it should give us the same exact thing, and it did. 84, 85, 84, 85, see that? So, which way is easier? Well, if you're comfortable with the Pythagorean theorem, then go for it. But if you get used to this method, it's a lot quicker. 45, 45, 90 triangle, you can find the hypotenuse just by multiplying by square root of 2. So, let's test you out. Here is <laughs> 45, 90. Is this a 45, 45, 90? Yes, because 45 plus 45 plus 90 would give a total of 180, right? So, if I told you that this is 8, what is this leg? Well, that's 8 as well, right? And what is the hypotenuse? Well, it's just 8 times the square root of 2. Boom, 11.31. Now, the harder part is when you're given the, um, the hypotenuse and you have to figure out the leg. Let's try that real quick. So let's say I tell you this hypotenuse is uh, 13. How do you figure out um, L, the leg? Well, we know L and L are going to be the same here because this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. How would you do that? I'll tell you how, okay? Here's the easiest way. I want you to think of this right here, this line right here hypotenuse equals legs leg times square root of 2. This is a formula. 
So hypotenuse equals leg times square root of 2. So go ahead and just write it as a formula. Hypotenuse equals leg, or in our case we have L, times the square root of 2. So now all we have to do is plug in the information that we know. Do I know what the leg is? No, it's just L. But do I know what the hypotenuse is? Yeah, it's 13. So let me rewrite this with 13 in there. Okay. So now, we just got to get L by itself. This is L times the square root of 2, so what are we going to do to get rid of the square root of 2? We're going to divide both sides by the square root of 2. And that's going to get rid of that and leave us with just L. And let's see what that equals. 13 divided by the square root of 2, enter, 9.19. I rounded there to two decimal places. See how that works? So, just real quick, 45, one more of this. Um, let's say this is 100. What is this leg? Well, 100 is x times the square root of 2, right? The hypotenuse is x times the square root of 2, where x is are the legs, right? So, just divide 100 by the square root of 2, both sides, so it cancels out. 100 divided by the square root of 2, oops, that's 10. 100 divided by square root 2, 70.71. Cool, so that's a 45-45-90 triangle. Now, there's one more special kind of right triangle. And that is a 30, 60, 90. And I actually kind of prefer um, this one to the other because this one is a little more fun. So there's, it's not isosceles. There's three different lengths. There's a short side. There's a long side, the, the long leg. And then there's still a hypotenuse. So what's cool about this is if you know the short side, and let's just say it's x, then the long side, the, or the hypotenuse, I'm sorry, if you know the short side, then the hypotenuse is always twice the length of that short side, or 2 times x. So if this is 3, that one's 6. If this one's 100, well, then you just do 2 times 100, that's 200. So it's kind of cool in a 30, 60, 90. And by the way, where do you find 30, 60, 90s? You guys have already done this with equilateral or equilateral equal equiangular triangles. Isn't this 180 total? So 180 divided by 3 is 60, 60, 60. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now what if I cut it straight in half to make it into two right triangles? I cut that angle up here straight in half, and so this is now a 30, 60, 90 and another 30, 60, 90. Okay, so, so we know the relationship between the hypotenuse and the short leg. The hypotenuse is always double the short leg. If the hypotenuse is eight, what is the short leg? Four, okay? Now, the only other thing is the long leg, and it looks just kind of like our uh, 45, 45, 90 x times the square root of 2 for the hypotenuse. Well, in this case, the long leg is x. And what is x? It's the shortest leg times the square root of 3. And I usually remember this, 30, 60, 90. 3 goes with 30. 3 and 30. And then with the square root of 2, I remember this because um, two angles are the same, or two sides are the same. So 30, 60, 90. Let's do an example. So I've got my triangle right here. Let's say this whole bottom right here is um, 12. And I want you to solve for this right triangle here on the right side, okay? So, how big is the short leg of this triangle right here? Well, it's half of 12, right? So this is 6. And then if I know this, a 30, 60, 90, the hypotenuse is twice as long as the short, right? 2x times x, or 2x, twice as many as x there. So 
That side is 12. And that's obvious here because this is an equilateral triangle. All equiangular triangles are equilateral. So 12, 12, 12. Now, what is the long leg? Remember what it was? It's x, and in our case that's 6, times, I'll put an arrow here, 6 times the square root of 3. Let's do that. 6 times square root of 3, 10.39. All right, let's do one more example, and I think we'll be about done. Is this triangle a 30, 60, 90? Yes, you know it is because 90 plus 30 plus only 60 would get you to 180. So this is a 30, 60, 90. And let's say you know that this side is 8. What are these other two sides? I'll put S for short and H for hypotenuse. What does S equal? What does H equal? Well, hmm. In this case, you couldn't use the Pythagorean theorem, could you? Because you don't know what the... You have to have two side lengths for the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the third. So in this case, we have to use our shortcut, 30, 60, 90. Well, we know how the long leg, because isn't this one up here the long leg? We know how it's related to the short leg. The long leg is short leg times the square root of 3. So let's use this formula right here. Longer leg equals shorter leg times square root of 3. So I'm going to say long leg, or 8, that was a funky 8, there we go, equals shorter leg, which is S, times the square root of 3. I just plugged in this formula right here. Long leg equals short leg times square root of 3. Now, it's just the same as before. Divide both sides by square root of 3. Let's see, 8 divided by square root of 3. 4.62. Okay, so S down here equals 4.62. Now, how do we figure out the hypotenuse? Well, this is the easy part. Hypotenuse is just double that. So 4.62 times 2, 9.24. There we go. All right, so the hardest part is when you're given the long leg, or you get like the long leg equals 10. Then you've got to use this formula and do a little algebra to figure out what the short leg is. Or in this case, remember, the long leg, e or the hypotenuse equals 90. Well, then you've got to do 90 equals leg times square root of 2, do the math, and figure that out. Okay, if they give you x in this case, or they give you x in this case, then it's super easy. Because you just do that times 2 to find that, or this times square root of 3 to find the long leg. It's going backwards, it's a little harder. Alright, I believe you are set up for success. I will talk to you later.